Welcome back to the garage. Today we are going to start messing around with welding on our magnesium Volkswagen case. Now this is a piece of cut off the back. I'm going to practice on it a little bit. I did a little bit of research. Sounds like you weld it pretty much like aluminum. Argon gas, normal AC settings. I've got the TIG set up. Uh, it's on the high power setting, but only about 50% of that dialed in right now. So we can see how this heats up and see if I can make a puddle. If I can make a puddle, then we'll make a, make a bead. Uh, I did have to get special welding rod. Probably can't. It's ERAZ61A rod. Is what I'm using, and it is incredibly expensive. A pound of normal aluminum rod would be like 20 bucks. This pound of rod, 145. So hopefully this is enough to do it. Should, should be way more than enough to do it. Right now, I'm gonna do my normal thing. I'm gonna see what happens and I'm just gonna F around and find out. I don't really know. No, my normal MO is just to think uh, what's the worst that can happen but since it is magnesium I guess I could catch it on fire and burn the house down so what's the worst that can happen it could be bad but see what I can do wasn't a whole lot different than welding aluminum see if that'll focus I made two passes there and then blended them together on top because that's what I'm going to need to do on that one half of the motor I have to build up those two sections to where we can machine them down so I'm happy with that as soon as that cools down I'll hit it with a grinder a little bit make sure there's no porosity or uh, serious amounts of uh, impurities in it I did get a little pile of slag that I knocked off was burning into the workbench so I kicked it in the floor and it just kept right on burning so you gotta be a little careful with it but mostly it's like aluminum so I have to build up those two pieces on the one case then I have to cut out a chunk of aluminum to fill in the, the bigger cylinder hole on the other side so we'll get the one half built up where I can grind it down and then we'll worry about the other side where I actually have to fuse the magnesium to an actual piece of aluminum. While I'm waiting on the test piece to cool, start working on the good part of the case, which is right here. Now when we cut it, it cut right along the cylinder edge there and through the edge of these two stud holes. What I'm going to do is grind these out some to where I can, well, I'll probably take all the threads out, grind them down at an angle to where I can get the torch down in there and start building from the bottom up. I'll grind this out and we'll fill that in. Then we'll get that all belt sanded down. We'll get that all belt sanded down flat. As you can see, there was a little jump there because when I was trying to come back in after going across here, trying to cut at a real steep angle so it raised the blade up a little bit but that's not at all hard to fix I mean I had to grind on it anyway so we'll get it welded up and then we'll true everything up on the belt sander well unfortunately there was a bit of imperfections in that impurities but it is an old nasty casting now I did didn't do a really slick job of cleaning that up because I just wanted to see what worst case would be. Here we have ground out the threads, V'd it down to where I can get down in the bottom to start the weld. Everything is cleaner, so. And this will be welded and sanded and welded and sanded till I get it just like I like it. So if we're getting a bunch of impurities, I'll see it. We'll try to correct it as we go, but. Hopefully there won't be as much this time. So I'm going to get busy welding. See what I can come up with. Alright, there's the first 
spot welded up. Not too disappointed with that. Should uh, machine down nicely. Probably have to go over it again. Uh, let it cook it a little more, flow out any impurities. We'll start on that one next, and then we'll start laying some beads there in that low spot where the cylinder was. I think we're off to a pretty decent start. And I'm sure it'll require, there we go, she focused. She'll require some more uh, welding to smooth out any low spots, but that's plenty good to start uh, smoothing things out. Stuff doesn't weld bad at all. And it does spark off if you get a little bit of a slag. It'll hit the ground, you'll have these really bright spots on the floor or whatever where the magnesium is burning, but it's not bad. And I think it, it welds really similar to aluminum. So we'll let that cool down and then start shaping it a little bit. Well, after just a little bit of work with the belt sander, I think that's going to come out just great. Just need to go back through and fill in a little more on the edges and smooth those down. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice flat surface. So, this should be a non-issue finishing this up and then I can move on to welding the piece in on the other side. Unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for today. Got to work on the house a little bit before it starts raining. So, like and subscribe if you want to keep up with this build and thanks for watching.